Mm-hmm. And so I decided to either go into investments or do mortgages or come out of banking completely and maybe get into so- something that, that was needed. And the opportunity ar- arose at Royal Bank. Um, so my sales manager, who's actually hired me at MortgageBrokers.com, Anthony Contento, he actually hired me at RBC, mm. right? I guess he saw dollar signs, good stuff, motivation, and so forth. Um, and, I, and I jumped on it, so. And no deal is the same. Every client situation is different. Mm-hmm. And um, the main goal is everybody likes the big mortgages and so forth. Yes, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but the main goal is to help people, you know, get their money right. Mm-hmm. and to break it down very simply for them um, and also getting to more people owning homes and property. Mm. You know, uh, I don't know if you know this, uh, Trish, but uh, I mm-hmm. once studied to be a mortgage broker. Hugh Riley? Uh, that's right, Hugh Riley. Wow. Studied to be a mortgage broker. I'm sending secret signals now, <laughs> as we discussed earlier in the channeling. show. That, that channel ling. It's about that channel lingo. Right, Trish? Can you just pull that mic up a little bit closer, just so we can hear you just a little bit better? Can you hear me you now? Such great stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, I studied to be a mortgage broker for a little bit, so mm-hmm. I know a little bit about it. But at one time, the banks weren't allowed to give mortgages, right? Uh, you know, I don't remember that. I've been in banking. S- I'm 35 now, so I've been in banking since I was 25. Mm-hmm. So if it's way back when, then well. maybe way back when. But um, maybe their lending policies at one time was very strict. Yeah. Right? And see, so whereas if you had to have qualify for a 25-year amortization yeah. as opposed to a 35-year amortization. A lot of people who own homes now didn't qualify with a 25-year amortization. So I would say maybe lending policies might have been stricter. Interest rates, okay, so if you're talking about the mid and late 80s, yes, interest rate was 13 14%. Yeah. Right? Early whereas, 80s. Whereas, mm-hmm. yeah. So I was there. I was there. <laughs> Remember those days. So is your focus on residential? Residential, commercial. Yeah. So a lot of young privates. families buying? Um, young families buying, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, young professional people who want to buy their first homes. Yeah. Um, a lot of business for self. A lot of people that own small businesses think just because they don't claim that income. Okay. Um, credit rebuilding. A lot of people don't understand credit and how it works for them, also how it works against them. Mm. Um, debt consolidation. So as opposed to you paying this bill and that bill and this bill and that bill, why not consolidate all into your mortgage? Equity lending, mm. you name it, I do it. Wow. Great. You, let's talk about that for a little bit because you mentioned 35 year amortization. And uh, there was a time when there was no such thing as 35 year amortization no, because there uh, that just was. Uh, you know, I mean, it's interesting because you really have to be, uh, I think what's happened, and I think, you know, your job and your role that you do is evidence of this, is that we've gone from a, uh, we've, like, we've gone to a, we've gone from where there were very strict policies about lending for mortgages to it really kind of did open up. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it's kind of really adopted like the whole economy, I'm, I'm thinking out loud here, we're exploring <laughs> this, mm-hmm. but the whole economy really has gone to a customer-centric type of mindset. Whereas in the old days, it was like, here's the bank, we're open only till 3 o'clock, we're closed on Wednesdays, and you better get here during our hours, because we're going golfing at 3 o'clock, and that's the way banks worked, right? And now they don't. Now TD Bot Canada Trust are open till 8 o'clock every night, Probably, um, I would say there was always mortgage brokers in the field. I yeah. think it's been oversaturated. Everybody, every every field has been oversaturated. Um, even though there's a 35 year amortization, just to give that as an example, there are still qualifications that you have to meet. Okay, so if you don't have the income or the ability to do that mortgage. Mm. Um, Canada has different lending policies than the states. So, for instance, all that nice stuff for subprime lending and so forth that's happened in the states, Canada has different lending policies. And you know what? As a result, they have tightened up. Okay, so everything's speaking score driven. What I was able to do a, a year or two years ago, I might not get it approved, right? Because they used to, it used to, like, 
Yeah, they've tightened it up a bit in Canada because it was you could get in with a no money down situation. Yes, but a year you had ago, to but you have, can't now, right? No, they they got rid of 100 percent financing, but in replace of that, yeah. you do have a five percent cashback that you can get. Mm. Okay, but you still have to show that you have your down payment. Okay, mm -hmm. and your Beacon Square has to be minimum 680. So, you know, qualifications are qualification. There is a mortgage for everybody. I strongly believe that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, depending on your situation, depending on your circumstance, okay? Mm -hmm. If you don't have not so great credit, you got two choices. We can either, we c I can get you your deal done. This is what you have to do. Or we work together. Mm -hmm. I, I think when I do a lot of workshops, especially for single mothers, single women, um, first time home buyer workshops, okay? It, it's more about educating. So. Mm -hmm what do I have to do to correct this, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a really good point, actually, because if people understood at a younger age how important their credit score is, yes. it would make life so much easier. So do you find you work with people, like if they have a low credit score, can you coach them and, and oh, help definitely. them? Oh, definitely. How long does it take to improve your credit yeah, score? Yeah, six months to a year, yeah, depending so on what long. your beacon score is. So if you're in the 400s, it literally it will take you two years. Um, mm. but you, you have to establish credit. Um, as I stated before, credit can either work for you or it could work against you. Mm -hmm. But the problem is people don't have the knowledge in how to make credit work for them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? Um, even after closing a mortgage, I, it, my relationship doesn't end there. The relationship continues. I keep in contact with you. Um, because the last, th I want you to refinance your home to buy investment property. I want you to refinance your home or pull equity out to pay for your children's education. Not refinance your home because you know what, Trisha, I just blew $50,000 and I don't know where it went. Mm. Yeah. That type of thing. It's all about education, right? The right. more knowledge you have, the more power you have, um, and you empower yourself to make wiser decisions financially. Fina mm. Finances, everyone gets really scared about. It is. It's so true. It's a very scary yeah. topic. It's easy to, you know, meet a real estate agent and to um, get comfortable with a real estate agent because you don't talk about money, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's why I got into doing a lot of sponsorship events and making myself very publicly known so people see that I'm human, not the bank. Mm -hmm. So in this oversaturated market, how do you get clients? How do you get people to come to Trisha Trotter? Um, Part of it is this community involvement, right? The community mm -hmm. involvement that I do. And what, what are some of the things that you, you do? Um, I've worked with, with. Uh, Carlos Promo, DJ Starting From Scratch, doing um, the DJ Golf Classic Tournament. You work There's with DJ Starting From Scratch? Yeah, I love him to pieces. Mm. Yeah. You have a background? You know him? Yeah, yeah. he's been in here a couple of times. I was hanging out with him at some event not too long ago. Oh, so, cool. for instance, we did the DJ Golf Classic, um, basically raising money for MS. Um, I think there was... There was MS, um, Heart and Stroke Foundation, and there was a third charity. Um, so I worked with them with their, their, I was a sponsor, I was one of the sponsors. Um, I've worked with Trey Anthony, for, mm -hmm. who, who has known for the kink in my hair. Oh, we had so, her in here, yeah. in here too. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Hugh knows so, everybody. So Any, I, anybody that's anybody in really? Toronto, Hugh I, knows. I, yeah. I did, in um, fact, North America, probably. So I did... I, I sponsored Secrets of a Black Boy mm -hmm. last September. I work with Jay Martin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everyone's got to know Mr. Funny Man. He's my chunky monkey. Sorry, Jay, for embarrassing you. Chunky him. monkey. But, you know, we <laughs> have a very good that. relationship, right? <laughs> so we, we do a, 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 those, you know, the comedians, um, spoken word art, artists, Dwayne Morgan, Al St. Louis, um, those that I've forgotten to mention. That's how I sponsor a lot of events. Um, I'm starting to do work with the school board, the Peel District School Board and so forth. Uh, Pastor Green, he's a Peel uh, School Board trustee. Mm -hmm. So I, I did the youth outreach program. So starting to target youths and bringing celebrity athletes, you know, whether retired or not retired, depending on their schedule. Um, so for instance, I'm working with Tracy Murray, who used to play with the Toronto Raptors in 1996 and 2005, I think till 2007. Mm -hmm. We're doing an event at David Leader Middle, middle, middle School, right? Mm -hmm. A basketball camp, mentorship, cool to be kind, right? Yeah. Also it ties in with Black History Month, so that's how I target. So you get involved in the community that way. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of them, I do a lot of free stuff. So for instance, I, no matter how big or how small, I've worked with, um, there's an, another gentleman, um, Seacan Sucker, 
I hand out awards, I do presentations. So big or small, I'm mm -hmm. out there. You get involved. People have to see that I'm human mm -hmm. yeah. at the end of the day. And they get comfortable, right? I worked with Carnival.